So good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer for this very exciting and uh, challenging uh, meeting. And it's my pleasure uh, to present uh, the national and stratified development of genomic medicine in France on behalf of uh, this uh, National Alliance for Life and uh, Health Science, which has been created in 2009 in order to coordinate all the efforts in terms of uh, health care, but also uh, life science research, and uh, which is directed by Professor André Sirota, present here. So since one critical aspect of uh, what we are discussing during this two days meeting is a clinical evidence, uh, we have considered that the top priority was a rare disease and uh, uh, cancer. Uh, now, the national strategy uh, was mostly inspired uh, by the fact that, as you know and as we are aware of that, uh, the challenge now in this modern area of uh, genetics is not anymore the genetic uh, inter variation detection, but genetic variation interpretation. I think that we all agree that if we are considering just the 1.2 of genome corresponding to exome, we are going to identify in each uh, exome of the patient 20,000 uh, SNV, around 500 are rare, not present in the database, and the big challenge, especially in the clinical aspect, is to provide evidence that uh, the SNV is involved in, in the disease. Of course, we need a very sophisticated now statistical analysis, and we are missing at the present time, even in our whole countries in Europe, an accurate estimate of the allelic frequency for rare variants, uh, which frequency is uh, below 0.1%. Of course, we need more and more very simple uh, animal models, uh, such as zebrafish. But of course, what is extremely important is the confrontation of the genotype and the phenotype. The reason why our strategy has been inspired by this challenge and is basically mostly based on the development of national clinical and molecular genetics networks. So this had been uh, performed within the framework of the French plan for rare disease. Uh, you know that in Europe uh, we, are absolute, we have around uh, 25 uh, million uh, European uh, citizens uh, suffering from this rare disease, 3.5 million French citizens suffering from this rare disease, uh, which uh, prevalence can be estimated about uh, one among 2,000. And in France, under the supervision of the Ministry of Health and Solidarity and Ministry of Higher Education and Research, the big challenge was to provide expertise, but also uh, territorial uh, equity. Uh, it's the reason why uh, the first uh, action was as a first floor to create a national network of a country of what we call reference and competence clinical center for rare disease, which were uh, split in different topics, such as, for instance, cardiovascular disease or uh, rare neurological uh, disease. And we have over the country at the present time uh, has conductor of this uh, organization, roughly 131 reference center, which are going to uh, coordinate all the competence center in order to provide an expertise at the clinical level. The second action, uh, thanks uh, to this plan, was the creation for a disease of a national networks of uh, molecular uh, genetics laboratories of uh, the country, which are all specialized in a subgroup of a rare uh, disease. For instance, we have cystic fibrosis network, we have neurogenetics networks, we will see cancer is outside of the fields. So this uh, network, uh, which has been organized uh, through the National Organization of the Molecular Geneticist, and which is working strong collaboration with our all research laboratories, which are mostly located in France in university hospitals, ensures a diagnostic of roughly 1,250 monogenetic disorders corresponding to more than 1,300 uh, genes involved in monogenic determinism, and this corresponds per year uh, uh, to more than uh, 400 genetic analyses, both for index cases and, and relatives. So uh, we have uh, roughly 100 uh, molecular genetics laboratories over the countries. Uh, 
uh, in the context of the technological revolution uh, due to implementation of next generation sequencing, most of the laboratories are now being equipped with uh, NGS platform, but in the medium size format corresponding uh, mostly to uh, MySec, for instance, a machine. So uh, one important action, uh, thanks to this French friend, was also the creation of the French Foundation for Rare Disease, which is a non-profit private structure uh, that coordinates, stimulates, federates, and founds rare uh, disease uh, research. And it was very important, thanks uh, to this organization coordinated by Professor Nicolas Levy, to facilitate access to NGS uh, platform. And uh, for instance, what has been done is to boost access to interregional platform of high throughput NGS for exome analysis, both in research fields, but also in diagnostic fields, when of course targeted analysis are negative. We have at the present time five interregional platform uh, who have in charge to perform exome analysis, mostly exome analysis. Some of them are performing genome analysis, but also bioinformatic trainings and bioinformatic analysis. And thanks to the uh, French plan, we had two open calls corresponding to 77 uh, funded projects, and uh, which has allowed us to perform uh, more than 100 and, uh, 1,100 uh, exome. Uh, now, in parallel, because it's uh, quite different, but the, the philosophy of the organization is the same, uh, in terms of cancer, and that was the main uh, achievement, I think, in France. We have also what is called the Plan Cancer, Cancer Plan, under the supervision of the National Cancer Institute. And the idea was also to organize these two floors, both in clinics and molecular genetics uh, of uh, cancer. Uh, for cancer, and that has been organized through the network of uh, the University Hospital and the Compre uh, Comprehensive uh, Cancer uh, Center. The first floor was a network of clinical cancer genetics center. So uh, we have now uh, 60 uh, clinical cancer genetics center in order to perform genetic uh, sessions specialized in phenotypic evaluation for all the family uh, which are suspected to present on the basis of familiar background, early onset, multiple primary development of cancer. And uh, we can consider that each year uh, we have roughly 44,000 genetic sessions focused on uh, cancer. You have here uh, the distribution of the main and secondary uh, clinical cancer genetics uh, center. Uh, similarly, uh, as uh, the second floor, we, had a nation, we have now a national network of molecular genetics laboratories for inherited form of cancer, of course, for Lynch syndrome, inherited breast and ovarian cancer, but for all other uh, more rare uh, Mendelian form of cancer. So we have now 25 laboratories. For instance, we have uh, in France 14 laboratories performing BRCA1 and BRCA2 analysis. We have uh, 12 laboratories performing colorectal cancer uh, gene uh, analysis. And the 73 genes are, being, are going to be analyzed and corresponding uh, per year, both for index cases and relative to 60,000 genetic uh, analyses. So one action, uh, thanks to the initiative of the National Science Institute and uh, on the science part, uh, directed by uh, Professor Fabien Calvo, was of course to structure uh, the next generation sequencing, both at the germline and also at the somatic level in terms of the targeted uh, therapy in order to detect on a routine uh, basis uh, all the actionable mutations. And uh, thanks, uh, there is now a recognition of different platforms. And we have now nine NGS and bioinformatic in the facilities in order to uh, demonstrate the implementation of the structure uh, through the country to perform exome sequencing, comparative exome sequencing between uh, primary tumors, metastasis, and uh, germline DNA. And of course, uh, to perform exome analysis from germline mutation detection in the context of a strong suspicion of inherited form of cancer if the targeted analyses are negative. One important mission of this network is also to perform training to bioinformatic uh, analysis and with a strong commitment of uh, the uh, clinician in charge of cancer. So uh, if we are seeing uh, what is clearly missing in France in contrast uh, to the marvelous presentation that we had, for instance, uh, 
in UK or uh, the Netherlands are also very powerful, is we miss definitely at the present time her national platform able to perform very high throughput NGS uh, facilities. So we can consider that we are okay concerning the first step, uh, which is a national network of laboratories uh, performing targeted analysis and using NGS, not only in the context of rare disease, but also in, in the context of rare, of, of cancer, both for somatic and germline. We are okay in intermediate platforms able in complement to the first one to uh, perform exome analysis, but in contrast to the UK organization, we are missing a very powerful uh, centralized uh, platform able to perform exome and general analysis with a clinical uh, grade in order not only to perform uh, uh, genetic uh, discoveries, but also in order to be able to provide a molecular uh, diagnostic. And we have estimates that what we need per year if we are considering both uh, what is needed in terms of rare disease but also in terms of cancer is between 10,000 and 50,000 exome per year. I'm just restricting my comments on exome, not for genome considering the challenging aspect of uh, genetic variation uh, interpretations. So one um, possibility which is strongly uh, considered as a present time and that the main challenge of Avicen today in order to, to optimize uh, this uh, pipeline uh, in France is uh, in fact to reinforce uh, the National Center of Genomics uh, in every, every in the south part uh, of Paris. So this uh, National Center of Genomics, uh, which is uh, at the present time uh, equipped uh, with, a, uh, sorry, uh, with uh, three ISEC uh, 2500, uh, 14 ISEC 2000, but only eight are devoted uh, to human genome, one proton 11 MySEC, uh, able to ensure uh, within two weeks roughly as raw database, uh, 6,600 gigabase, uh, correspond roughly to the second European sequencing facility. And one important aspect is that the National Center is fully equipped uh, with a high performance computing center uh, with a total capacity of uh, 120,000 uh, uh, computing uh, cores, but dedicated to genomics, we have 3,000 cores uh, corresponding to five uh, petabytes and ensuring exome and uh, wool genome analysis. And this is coordinated by uh, Jean-Francois Deleuze. So the idea for the future is probably to uh, reinforce this research. So to uh, finish uh, my talk, uh, the idea is to complete uh, the pipeline. So the idea in our strategy, first focused focus on rare disease and cancer, is to have this uh, pipeline organization. We start first from national networks of clinical centers, both in the field of rare disease and cancer in order to ensure a phenotypic expertise. Then we are performing a first level of targeted analysis, thanks to a national networks of medical molecular genetics laboratory. And after that, as a present time, we are benefiting from national networks of interregional platforms in order to complete the analysis by exome sequencing analysis and training. But the challenge is the creation of the national platform performing exome genome sequencing analysis. The big issue will be, of course, detection and interpretation of genetic variations. So that will be one important aspect of this international platform, which are going to be uh, trained people in order to ensure a first step of bioinformatic analysis. But the big challenge after that will be to transform this variation into, in, 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 into uh, clinical markers. And that will be the work of the national network in order to uh, validate on the uh, independent samples and to go back uh, to uh, the clinician. And one important aspect, and that will be my last slide, and of course, if we are here dealing with genetic medicines, we have a strong intrication in France with genomic uh, research, uh, which is supervised notably by INSERM, and we have considered that the top priority was, of course, the national development of this exploratory uh, 
techniques in order to optimize the detection of uh, disease, the identification of the genetic determinants of disease, and one important aspect is, of course, the development of bioinformatics and biostatistics. So I will stop here and be happy to have any questions. Thank you for your attention. May I? Well, my question is, how much amount of money was uh, invested to organize these uh, genetic test centers, including supercomputers and sequencing facilities? If possible, if you could separate the sequencing facilities from supercomputer systems. I will be unable right now to give you an accurate estimate. What I can tell you is what was a challenging aspect was how are we going uh, to reimburse all the genetic tests. So mm. the way it has been organized was the following. We have convinced the Ministry of <coughs> Health that we should organize that as a national level. So in other terms, uh, we have here a map of specialized molecular genetics laboratories. Mm. Each uh -huh. of them... Uh, they are, right. We are getting some money see, based on from directly from the Ministry of Health, based off an annual report, right? And based on the annual report, so we are supposed to perform all the, uh, all the uh, analysis for the countries on a free basis, okay? So, uh, for instance, considering the equipment, uh, so we have uh, different calls corresponding to uh, for instance, the last call uh, was roughly uh, 10 million of euro in order to have an equipment of a MySec of medium size platforms. And now if you are considering uh, the main center uh, corresponding to as uh, a center located in every, uh, most of this equipment have been based on either uh, private funding or national funding mm -hmm. or uh, even European contracts. I see. The, the computing part is centralized or distributed? Well, there are different scales. Uh -huh. So we have the main power is located in every, mm -hmm. but as you have understood, since we have five uh, interregional platforms, uh, we have different bioinformatics facilities. And we have, considering that even playing with the MySec, it was very mm -hmm. important mm -hmm. to have bioinformaticians. Mm -hmm. So we have pushed and we succeed mm -hmm. to have permanent position for bioinformatics, mm -hmm. not only working in research laboratory, mm -hmm. but bioinformatics uh, people working in, in diagnostic laboratory because right. we need quality reports. And as you know, that corresponds to different challenges. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, you know, we have 23 clinical genetic centers in the UK. You've got a lot more in your distribution. So, and we've been thinking that 23 is, is a lot, um, particularly with NGS. But So your system must be more fine-grained, the smaller number of tests per center, or you're doing more tests. And you know, it's another problem with, with having 23 is they tend to do their own thing in terms of working out protocols and developing bioinformatics. Are you controlling your large number of centers so they use common platforms well, or? Uh, uh, maybe the way I presented is a little bit confusing because definitely most of these centers are located within the University Hospital for Rare Disease. Right. And we have 26, so you have 23, so it's the same scale. All right. So you understand? But you had larger numbers for the yes, rare disease. Yes, but because within the University Hospital, we are going to have, for instance, a competent centers working uh -huh. on neurological disorders but usually you have a local interactions. Right. So what you have to consider at the territory level, uh, we are dealing mostly with 26 university hospital in which we are going. So it's the same scale right. at the clinical level than in UK that I know a little bit. All right, okay. 